really excited, obviously, at the inaugural launch of Amazon uh, a month ago, leading the charge. And you've been incredibly busy since then, showcasing how this uniquely Canadian approach to a globally established depositary receipt business is able to not only benefit, but also dramatically improve how Canadian investors, financial advisors, and portfolio managers buy global companies. With a shelf of five CDRs now in market, including Google and Tesla a few weeks ago, and yesterday, Apple and Netflix, uh, the NEO team and I are more excited than ever about the future of CDRs. And seemingly every day, we hear how they are addressing a clear challenge in the market. Ultimately, it boils down to this. Uh, CDRs are exactly the kind of initiative we here at NEO like to see. Large organizations leveraging the full extent of their capabilities, scale, people power, all to deliver a better way to invest. Thank you to you and, and the NEO team for hosting us again. Uh, I also can't believe that it's been a month since we were here together to celebrate the launch of the AMZN uh, first CDR. Um, you know, when we were here a month ago, we talked about the incredible three year journey that the CIBC team and our partners at Blake's and Tories and Mellon and, uh, and Neo took to get here. And now we're here to celebrate the launch of you know, Apple and Netflix, so AAPL and NFLX, uh, but also to celebrate the first month of trading, um, which has worked remarkably well. You and the team uh, have been exceptional to work with. Um, obviously, whenever you build something new, you're going to come in and uh, have to uncover and solve for things that you didn't necessarily know because it's something new in the market and you guys have been there every step of the way. So really appreciate the partnership. As Elliot mentioned, we're super excited to be here with NEO, celebrating the launch of the newest CDRs, Apple and Netflix, and the first month of trading for our CDR program. As a bit of a refresher, CDRs are modeled after the nearly 100-year-old $1 trillion American depository receipt market, and they include three features specifically tailored for Canadian investors. One, access to global companies in Canadian dollars, which eliminates the cost of currency conversion. Two, a built-in notional currency hedge to mitigate currency risk and three, fractional share ownership to make high price stocks more affordable. We hope this innovation will help Canadian investors have better access to global companies, and we've received lots of positive feedback confirming that. With Apple and Netflix, you've heard we now have five CDRs trading on the NEO exchange. We're not stopping there. We have plans to launch many more over the rest of the calendar year and beyond. So now let's take a look at how CDRs differ from a direct investment in the underlying shares. As with the underlying shares, CDRs will be exchange listed, no management fees, and will be eligible to be held in registered accounts like TFSAs, RESPs, RRSPs. CDR holders on the applicable record dates will have rights to vote, rights to receive dividends. As it relates to those dividends, both require the investor to have an up-to-date W8 Ben form on file with their dealer. And this is important to ensure proper withholding rates are applied. And finally, CDRs will be taxed in the same way as holding or trading the shares directly. As for differences, unlike directly holding the underlying shares, CDR holders will benefit from a Canadian dollar denomination for trading, Canadian dollar dividends. They'll also benefit from institutional FX rates for any FX conversions made for the product, a currency hedge to mitigate currency risk, as well as fractional share ownership. There are many similarities between owning the underlying shares directly versus owning the CDR. And this also extends to how they trade. So as you can see in the diagram on this slide, Canadian investors will use their trading platform of choice to obtain quotes on CDRs and execute trades. CDRs will trade on the NEO exchange and market makers will facilitate trading just like any other equity or ETF. Market makers will interact with CIBC and CIBC Mellon to create and redeem CDRs. The idea is to have CDRs look and feel like owning any other equity in an investor's portfolio. As Alex mentioned, uh, CDRs address three primary issues of global investing for Canadian investors. First, I'm sure you're all familiar that certain shares are too expensive for retail clients to own. Our first CDR launched was for Amazon.com. As many of you know, AMZN in the US trades at over 3,000 US per share, which makes it difficult to put into client investor portfolios. 
The CDR we launched trades at about $20 Canadian, making it accessible for retail investors. We were able to set the initial price at approximately $20 per share through CDR's CDR ratio, which is this, uh, this fractional share ownership concept. So all depositary receipts, including ADRs, have a concept of a depositary receipt ratio. The difference is with CDRs, we set that ratio to be less than one. Specifically, the first CDR we launched, which I think shows this point um, most uh, obviously for AMZN, had a 200 to one ratio. So basically you needed 200 CDRs to equate to one Amazon share. Um, basically by having a CDR ratio of less than one, we are in effect taking a company's single underlying share and breaking it into fractional shares, which can then be quoted on the Canadian market on the New York exchange in whole units. Second, investing in global companies exposes Canadian investors to currency risk. Some of you might be familiar with currency hedged ETFs, which are very popular in Canada. CDRs have the same feature, but it's just on a single stock, not an index. The result of this currency hedge is that we will effectively eliminate any impact that investors' returns have from moves in the foreign exchange. As a result, the CDR's return will only be impacted by moves in the underlying share, regardless of moves in FX. We saw this in full force last week. The US dollar rallied about 3% and it had no impact on the CDR performance. And third, in order to invest in global companies, you need to convert your Canadian dollars to US dollars or whatever foreign currency you want to invest in. And that can be costly. With CDRs, there's no need to convert your, C your Canadian dollars and deal with the FX transactions or fees associated with it. And all the while, investors get access to institutional level FX rates on their trades. This slide, we think, demonstrates exactly the value proposition uh, of what we are trying to accomplish here. So this is a slide showing the performance of the AMZN CDR and comparing it to the Amazon.com uh, security listed on the NASDAQ. As you can see, the tracking of these two shares are exactly as advertised. Um, you know, we only have a month's worth of trading, but the performance delta here has been less than 0.05% over the course of the month. Um, and it's basically mirrored it uh, identically. And we're, um, you know, a picture speaks a thousand words. And we think that this tracking chart does exactly that. So we encourage you all to visit us at our website to get all the latest up to date information on the latest CDRs that we launch. Um, we have marketing collateral there, educational resources, and videos on our website, which is cdr.cibc.com. Uh, you know, we've said this a few times. We believe that CDRs will revolutionize the way that Canadians invest in global companies. It's been an excellent month to date um, with now five CDRs in the lineup. We're definitely growing our platform. We want to grow more. We will grow more. Uh, we just look forward to hearing from all of you uh, in terms of what names you want to see next, what we have big plans to continue to grow our lineup. We look forward, obviously, to welcoming you and the team uh, back again on a, a subsequent launch run. And of course, uh, if there's anything uh, we can help with along the way, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, everyone, this concludes our market open event this morning. Team CIBC, congrats. Welcome back to NEO. Thank you for your support. This is Neo signing off.